Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading. We're going to be taking a look at the rest of April in through the month of May. And as always, some messages may or may not be for you. So just take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But any and all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, so let's see what the messages are for you going forward, as usual. It's going to be a long reading today, tonight, so if you need to, like, go get some tea or curl up in your bed or get your car set up so you can listen to this on the way to work <laughs> or just sitting there in your morning or on your lunch break, go for it. Okay. All right, Virgo. You know, I'm just curious about something. All right, okay. I felt this. All right, let me just tell you real quick, Virgo. We've got wedding rings, abundance, sunglasses, and the runner. Okay, so there's somebody here, okay, who uh, there's a codependent relationship, okay? Maybe connecting with someone who's codependent. Um, this person runs. They're all up in their ego. They got a fear of intimacy. They're kind of like um, very insecure and they run. They run from intimacy. Like, uh, Virgo, I I'm going to tell you something right now. This is two separate energies because I feel like this is you here. You got wedding rings in abundance, okay? So it doesn't have to be wedding rings, but you have union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, um, keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. And you got somebody over here who um, basically is like stalking you, um, but they are hiding behind a bush. I don't know, the, not literally, figuratively, um, what, like watching behind their glasses. But I also feel like... Um, this is somebody who ran from a relationship that, you, you know, you guys were in. Um, gaslighting, perception, focusing outward, looking, watching. I feel like, like, I don't know who this is. Is this someone that you were dating before? It could have been forever ago. It could have been just recently. Maybe you ended something with someone. But you, Virgo, it looks like you're in a good place if you so obviously something must have ended or it's just you got yourself or you are getting yourself into this mindset going into the rest of this year here that you know hey i'm staying in my abundance i'm keeping positive about things despite what somebody else is doing okay but you definitely have somebody here who's watching you and um they take a peek at you they take peaks and then they disappear and then they take peaks again and then they disappear and like I don't even know I feel like this person might be watching to see if you're like happy or um, if you are getting married or if you're you're with somebody yeah that feels like the energy that's going on here Virgo okay so the person might wear glasses or they're you know they wear sunglasses all the time but not like maybe they get some ray beds they kind of look like that Okay, what just fell? Okay, strength in the reverse. All right, so there's, listen, Virgo, I feel like you're getting your strength back. This is this is what I feel like is going on with you. Okay, you're definitely getting your confidence back, your self-esteem. Um, you are um, getting back into loving yourself again, having that self-respect, courage, you know, because strength in the reverse can kind of be like um, feeling fearful or dealing with discord or self-sabotage energy or just feeling disgraced. But I kind of feel like you are turning things around here for yourself. You know, like it's it's really just a matter of you, you know, loving yourself again. Um, and it feels like also like counting your blessings this is what I feel like is going on here rather than looking at the negative I feel like you're 
you're, I don't know if you're making a gratitude list or really just kind of like making a list of all the good things to remind you, remind yourself or telling yourself. Maybe you're having a conversation with someone or some people and, and saying, you know, life really is, you know, yeah, I'm a little weak right now. You might feel a little weak, but um, I feel like you're, you're, you're working to come out of that whatever the issue is here okay you're working to come out of a negative uh mindset and get into a positive mindset you're not like full on uh, and this is not all of you but someone here is not full on strong and you could be on the cusp of leo and virgo as well okay yeah look you've got the page of cups and this feels like towards yourself you are really like um I'm seeing selfies, <laughs> taking some selfies maybe, Virgo, or just kind of, I don't know, you might be sending them, but I feel like you're just kind of loving yourself, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, um, being nice to yourself, being sweet, this is like a new love relationship that I feel like you're having with yourself, okay? Um, let me see what else is going on here. I just like your energy. That, that's really all I have to say, what's going on. Because um, I feel like like there's someone here who will be very difficult to deal with, okay, um, going in through the next month, all right? And I feel like this person is just popping in, taking a peek, and then running away. And somebody's playing, like, uh, I was going to say DoorDash. <laughs> ding dong ditch right they're poking the bear somebody's poking the bear okay we have the king of pentacles so you could be dealing with another earth sign for sure wherever it is in their chart um they're definitely keeping an eye on you but they're being shady oh my gosh yes virgo interestingly for your singles reading we did have the king of pentacles showing up here yesterday so this could be a continuation of that but I don't really feel like it. I feel like it's a different energy. Mostly this King of Pentacles is a Taurus card, okay? There could be a Leo you're connecting with. It could be a Pisces. But the, yeah, this King of Pentacles is being like super shady, hiding in the shadows. That's what I'm saying. They got their sunglasses on. Like this person wears their sunglasses at night. <laughs> I know. Who sings that? I can't remember i wear my sunglasses and night just really being very shady okay and um i don't know virgo i just kind of feel like you're like yeah they can be whatever the hell they want to be i really don't care i'm doing my own thing if they're watching let me give them a movie uh, i'm gonna show them my dinner i'm gonna show them you know my workout routine i'm gonna show them this like brand new bag i just bought i'm gonna show myself sitting in the sun with a big fat smile you know, Virgo, you definitely have hit rock bottom. And you will be. And, I mean, there's no other way to go except up. Okay. So, Virgo, I just feel like this month, like the end of April and the month of May, is this person popping in and popping out. Like, watching you and then, like, disappearing or running away. Being very shady. Okay. Being very sneaky possibly lying about things or being deceptive with that moon virgo and um i feel like this person is at war with themselves bef between their wild side and what they ought to that what they should be doing you know or how they should be treating you you know i mean i just feel like they're at war they're kind of like I don't know if they're like a werewolf or something, but this person's kind of like, they're very instinctual and they run off their instincts. But then at other times, they're kind of like, well, uh, you know, I need to domesticate. Like I need to be, I need to be normal. Like this person is very conflicted and, and it's, it's weird behavior. It, it's like they keep coming. Why are they poking at you? Why is this person going to be like poking? So... It's kind of like, um, you know, they could be texting you. Yep, there you go. Reaching out and saying a couple things and then disappearing on you. Okay. And Virgo, I just see you being like, I've had enough of this. 
because this whole situation you know when someone keeps poking and poking and it's like a Chinese water torture you know they just keep poking and poking and poking and it wears you down you know like how your little brother <laughs> or your little sister stop touching me stop touching me and they keep doing it and finally you just explode like I feel Virgo that that's what this is this is what's happening okay and this person they come in with the page of Pentacles energy um coming in to tell you some great news or something and then you try to talk to them and then they don't respond they disappear all right virgo i see you just being like no that's it i'm done with this like it, we're either gonna like pick a freaking lane like pick a lane this person's weaving in and out of lanes they're all over the map very unstable which is odd because the king of pentacles generally is very stable but the moon represents emotions and the moon is instability okay um it's like the cycles of the moon okay so you could be dealing with a someone that is having um maybe a mood disorder or they have hormonal shifts or something or you could you know there's a guy here who's got like hormonal mood he's very moody or something going on like that whatever the situation is um they they might be stable more so like in their career and you know like their house is made of concrete and they have a decent car and you know like all that stuff and money in the bank but emotionally with the moon like they cycle they cycle up and down in and out uh, very weird behavior very weird behavior and I, I just kind of feel like for you Virgo it just feels like going forward you're like now I'm trying to be happy look at this Virgo this is abundance look at the similarity of these two cards could be you and your child or you and your grandchild look at the look at the baby and then look at that person on the left there arms are out open free i'm hearing i'm free um and as far as those wedding rings like it's like virgo i just feel like for you you're freeing yourself up to get out of this energy or away from someone that is just very inconsistent and unsta emotionally unstable so that you can you know find a partner find a soulmate in your life okay and i think that's good i think that's really good you have double leo here so like I said, some of you could be on, have like you could have heavy Leo in your chart to be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo, okay? So, um, or you're just a Virgo, or you're a Virgo Libra. Whatever the situation, you know what? I just want to tell you. Okay, no, I don't. So, I feel like your intentions are clear with yourself here. Um, that despite what other another person is doing here, you're maintaining your position. To not let it affect you and you're kind of like detaching and separating yourself um, you're not owning why this person's doing what they're doing you're staying very positive you're opening up some of you might even expose this person um, because they're hiding um, you might expose this person or call them out on their behavior and you might even tell them like in a kind way but then also say you're done with this like you are not dealing with this toddler like behavior okay yeah this person's got like tricks are for kids this person's got like little magic tri tricks up their hat why are they doing this what is those what is oh my gosh wheel of fortune oh they just said um oh that this person likes to see they do this weird stuff because they like to see if they have you on a puppet string they like to see um, if you will. I, I, that's. I mean, I'm not even kidding. They're giving me like a marionette, like a puppet string. They, 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 they it's like some kind of sick freaking game. <laughs> some kind of sick little game, just to see what you will do, you know, or how you will react, in what ways you will change in response to what they're doing that is you know what virgo I, I hope i do i hope that like if you are dealing with someone like this who's playing these sick little games i hope to god that you are getting yourself away from this toxic toxic broken energy whoever this person is okay i really do 
because it is it feels like so unhealthy and I, I mean I do see here in the messages that you are like putting an end to it and freeing yourself and getting back out into the sun and being happy joyous and free I do see that what is this person gonna do Virgo just decides they're not doing anything here they're not Virgo's not gonna engage with this person anymore what are they gonna do okay they're gonna get real quiet the high priestess oh oh and then they're going to come in with the big what are you dealing with like a narc or something then they're going to come in with the big love bomb oh who is that okay they just give me a song I never thought that I need somebody like you Lyle love it why are they giving me that song? I'm seeing two people on a beach. It's so 90s or 80s. Something Games, I think it was called. I can't remember. They just gave me that image. Uh -huh. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So I feel like this person, they want to see how, like, if they throw a bone, how far you'll go to fetch it. I really feel like that's what this person is doing. And then if you stop fetching the bone... Yeah, they're going to come in with the big love bomb. I'm like, oh, you're my soulmate. We're meant for each other. Virgo, don't fall for the okie doke. Okay? Because anybody who's coming in that mature, you think they're automatically going to just get better or change and be mature out of, just like in the next day. <laughs> like, no, that's crazy talk. It would just be like more magic tricks if somebody's like that. You know, people don't have wake up calls like within 15 minutes. <laughs> You know, if you tell somebody, I'm done, I'm out, goodbye, and then they're calling you back, oh, I'm going to change, oh, I'm doing this, and, and that, no, that's just to keep you on the line, keep you on the hook. People don't, it's bull, right? Don't fall for the lip service. People talk out their ass, they talk out the sides of their mouth all the time, right? Um, so, yeah, this person, like, oh, we're, we're meant for each other, you know, it's, you know, divine, you know, spirit brought us together, the divine timing, you know, like I, I was just playing with you and, you know, I don't want you to go and I don't want you to go. And what happens? You, you turn around and you say, okay, okay, I forgive you. I get it. And you take him right back right away. And this person, oh, okay. Then they start their bullshit again, right? The empress in the reverse. Who is the empress? Because remember, this person is super, super codependent. So then they become like oh you know i don't have the time i don't have the energy to you know they go back to their old ways this message feels very strong for some of you like i don't really like to tell you guys what to do but i do think like if you're dealing with someone like this who's playing the old okie doke they're playing you know ding dong ditch with you they're poking the bear and then they're running away they want to get a reaction so that you'll chase them and you know, uh, have you on them puppet strings, Virgo, free yourself. Free yourself from this. Because this is just someone who is extremely immature. Like a five-year-old. A five-year-old. Okay, this is someone that I'm seeing here who is not getting their way. They're a spoiled brat. They're playing little games. They're instigating things to just get you all upset. And, and, and in a lot of ways, Virgo, I see you, it, it kind of weakens you a little bit. Like this person's intention is to weaken you. Either make you weak for them so that you will chase after them and come out of your element, come out of your, you know, your, your um, what I want to say. Your, um, your king or your queen castle, you know what I mean? It, they're like, it's like a joker. It's a joker trying to catch you off guard, right? And, and look, Virgo, if you entertain that, you're just going to get weaker and weaker and weaker. It's abuse of power. And I feel like if, if you allow somebody to puppet string you like that, they're, they're, then that's just being like very controlling. Okay. Um, and you'll self-sabotage yourself. Yeah, Virgo, let me just see what your romance angels messages are here. I don't like this energy. And I feel like this is definitely for someone specific. I like that you, I do feel like you, you know, if you're not sure... It looks like 
you're gonna just like become completely hit rock bottom with this okay possibly in may and if you don't you know like if this person you know some of you know that they're watching you you see them somehow watching you somehow but they don't do anything they watch maybe they watch your story uh maybe it's something on social media or they look at you at work or you catch them from around the corner or you see them every once in a while um or they, they pop in a text to you or a phone call and they leave a voicemail and you try to call them back or reply and they're gone and they don't answer back for days and days that kind of energy if if that's what you're dealing with like i mean unless this person is thirty six thousand feet in scuba in, in a scuba submarine under the water and they have no signal or they're at the highest peak of a mountain they have no sig signal they're out and out of space and they have no i mean well elon musk has satellites up there so i don't think that's going to be a problem but whatever they're there or they're stuck inside the body of an alligator i don't freaking know like people can text or reply when they're sitting on the shitter <laughs> when they're sitting on the toilet you know what i mean even if to just say i can't talk right now I'll text you back in 20 minutes like anything and i just feel like this person is playing a game they're playing some kind of game and I'll, you know, okay, this could be the one. <laughs> this could be the one asshole you don't need. Let's see. Okay. This could be the one engagement. What's going on here? Oh, Virgo, were you... Are you thinking that this is your... This is the one for you? Some of you might be. Okay. Some of you might have it like, oh, this is the person that I'm going to be with. This is the only one. No. Virgo... Don't let you don't let chemistry or your feelings um, dictate if this is your person. You need to vet and and like see clearly what's going on here. If this is resonating for you, like put your feelings aside, put your romantic attraction. You'll be attracted to the person no matter what happens. So just don't let that be the reason to be with someone who is playing games with you okay um eventually the attraction will fade or it won't it was it doesn't matter like there's got to be more than chemistry and attraction there has to be like you guys have to be equally yoked this person has to have enough within themselves to fill you up and vice versa this person has to be able to reflect who you are you know and if they're not sticking around long enough to show you because they keep running out the door with the runner here or they just keep disappearing there's no chance in hell this thing's gonna work so if you've already got it in your head that this could be the one because you feel something you need to set your feelings aside like take a minute set your feelings aside and ask yourself is this person showing up for me the way I would be showing up for them you know what I mean I say it all the time um, you know I love chocolate cake oh my god chocolate moist chocolate cake with delicious thick creamy chocolate frosting oh that is heaven and I could eat an entire cake in one setting I could I don't care if I get a vomit later I could down that thing like nobody's business a big glass of ch of, um, of milk oh my god no it, it would be on but I don't indulge because I know that that is so bad for me. <laughs> and trust me when I tell you, Kelly and chocolate cake have chemistry and we are tremendously compatible, okay? But that cake is toxic, <laughs> it's toxic. I can have a little bit of it and then I gotta, you know, push it back from the table and that's it. I gotta have a little self-discipline. And I think that's what you need here. Like you need to have some self-discipline. You might think this is like you've met the person of your dreams, or you might have already thought that. You might think it if you meet them going forward. And then you see yourself being engaged to this person or having a long-term commitment because, I don't know, there's a lot of things that you feel are compatible, but you can't look at, like say if there's, you gotta have 10 things of compatibility. And let's say you got six. I mean, you got to look at the whole thing. You can't negate the, 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 the four things that you're not compatible with because they could be big, serious things. You know what I mean? You guys definitely, like, there has to be more than just the romantic feelings and the fact that, you know, there's several other similarities. There has to be more. 
okay <laughs> so Virgo engagement wedding and you do have that over here as well you know I do feel like this is your energy and this is what you want in your life and I think that's healthy and I think that's wonderful okay but I feel like that you're either coming to terms in May that this person could be the one but isn't really going to be on the roster because of these games that they're playing and um, you know you might just decide you know I'm just going to step back because this person needs to like grow up you can't fix them you can't change them step back if you do for yourself so you can regain your strength again okay or you can maintain your strength because this kind of stuff this is like being out in the playground playing kickball for 23 hours like if you if you're like if you're not you don't have that kind of endurance and stamina you're you're gonna collapse right and um this person i don't know what it is but they seem to have the endurance and stamina to keep coming back and ringing your doorbell and then ditching you know i feel like i just feel like be really careful <laughs> yeah retreat i feel like if anything i'm not telling you to like I'm not telling you like that you should or you shouldn't completely end it with somebody here, but I feel like you need to step back and kind of let that, that, um, the, what am I trying to say? Let the fog dissipate so you can see a little bit clearly in regards to what's going on here. Okay. I feel like the need to do a Celtic cross and I told you guys this was going to be a longer reading, but I feel like I really want to do a Celtic cross spread and I haven't done that in a little while so let me do that let me have a look and see what other messages I can never pick up my cards okay what other messages there are for Virgo we're gonna do Virgo Celtic cross reading a second reading here okay all right past position eight of wands Okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Okay. Past position, eight of wands, current, you've got the death card. Crowning, you've got the seven of pentacles. You have the chariot. I know you can't see them, sorry. Driving the reading. You have the five of wands in the near future. Okay, whoa, position of you. You have the Seven of Swords, other person, Seven of Wands. All right, I can tell you right now, you and this other person are definitely, I don't know who this other person is, but your energy and the energy that's external to you is all about insight and inner awareness, but we'll see what else is going on here. Okay, justice, hopes and fears, the outcome is the lovers and crossing the death card is the nine of swords okay bottom of the deck you have the three of pentacles so there is an energy here of um working something out together two people figuring some stuff out and working something out together now mind you this is a separate reading okay if, if it resonates for you coming from the first reading fine but this is a separate reading there's two people here um who are trying to figure out how to make something better, how to create something, how to um, excavate something, learning how to make, a, it looks like perhaps like a partnership or a project, make a partnership better. Okay, that's the overall message. The past energy is the Eight of Wands. So there was definitely some news that came to you in the past. Okay, Virgo. Um, and I feel like it came pretty quickly right it was just out of the blue like fell out of the sky okay like a like a like a bird that got shot like it just came out of nowhere okay and it may have had something to do with some travel or connecting with someone in regards to like some travel or um there was a connection that was made in the past that came out of the blue and then you've got the ten of cups so this was a harmonious very lovely coming together it could have been a marriage um 
a family thing total love and support just came out of the blue cupid's arrows for sure but something right now is in the position of ending and it, there's a lot of stress around this okay something right now is there's change and transition there's endings of course which always leads to new beginnings but there is a struggle that's happening here right now there might be a little bit of suffering um that someone is feeling with the death card um there's definitely big changes and an energy of a, of like moving on transformation and a time to move on okay yeah and this is like right timing like do what's best for you do the right thing be true to yourself be honest with yourself and be fair with yourself you're in a position it looks like uh it looks like you're transitioning you're getting out of something the real challenge is to not stress yourself out about this okay because i see you having maybe some heavy duty dreams the nine of swords or a feeling of um just anxiety of some sort i don't know sip a little nyquil have a you know a little something to relax yourself before you go to bed whatever it is it, it could be herbal melatonin whatever it is because i kind of feel like you get into bed maybe you look at your phone and you're stressing about something that you're seeing on your phone or maybe something you're not seeing on your phone or um whatever it is or looking at a, um maybe an ipad or a laptop or something i see also some migraines somebody's having some migraines um yeah there's like Hold on a second. I can't even... Wait, is that what I think it is? That looks like an eagle. There's some... Um, uh, somebody cut off some communication as well. So there's some stress about that. You might have done that and asking yourself, should I have done that? Was that the right thing to do? Maybe you were too hasty or someone else did it for you or did it to you and there's just like a hard time sleeping. Some of you are needing to put on like... Um, an eye mask to keep the dark out i don't know I'm, I'm feeling like mental stress putting you also may not be at night but also kind of like making you just want to go to sleep or lay in your bed and sleep something off okay um let me just get a clarifying card for that oh well of course of course there was uh, there's either some argument or a separation or um, some health news or worrying about some health stuff. Um, hold on, you guys. Whew. There's something here to do. Maybe there's a concern about a third party um, not having clarity about that. Some of you might be cutting something off because you're intuiting that but it's stressing you out virgo i mean it's a real challenge at this time you know i feel like um you could be going through a divorce or a loss it could be some depression because i was saying about you know you staying in bed you might be wanting like to just sleep stuff off at this time you're, there's definitely a struggle here you know and uh, i don't know some of you need to take like a a gas X or something because you're you're getting some pains in your chest or somewhere in your abdomen um you could also be having okay so they're telling me somebody might be having like some serious uterine cramps or something along those lines something going on with the with your female reproductive that too um, or that it could be attached to migraines as well. Like it's a lot, Virgo. <laughs> You've got a lot going on. You do. Um, and I feel like for some of the guys, this is just like something that you, that ended, or something that's ending or has ended, either by your hands or by the hands of another and the message here is like yes you have to do what is right it could be a divorce also um or some kind of a breakup but it's like i just feel like with justice there's a cause and effect here 
and the truth is coming out for sure about something that needs to end and whether that's something or something that's ending whether that's something you're telling yourself or something is being told to you now what's driving this reading is the chariot virgo i really feel like you are seriously wanting to just run uh, that's kind of what I feel. You want everything to just be over. You want things to just change. You want to take, you're taking action for sure in your life right now to make massive changes. Some of you, um, you could be moving or just trying to get out. Like, I, I just feel like you just want to get in your car and go. I don't know where to, um, take some kind of a journey. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh, Oh yeah, okay. Some of you just want to talk to your mom or connect with um, an older friend or go take a trip or um, this feels like connect with an empress and the empress very nurturing, okay? Um, a good parent and uh, some of you are just like, and, and others, it's just this desire to get back into your creative abundance with who you are within yourself, right? Um, let me see what's crowning. Because you got the, listen Virgo, you got the seven of pentacles. So, wow, Virgo, it's like, Virgo, I just feel like you want to run from something. But it's not time. I mean, like, I feel like you want to run away to make everything stop or make this heartbreak or this these pains go away but it's not time you're definitely like contemplating it but it's because of your grief that you're running away from your pain that's what i feel like is there but you know wherever you go there you are so if you're running away from your pain like you, you can't leave your pain at home it's going to go with you so it's like choose your pain virgo choose your battle whatever's going on with you if you need to get help um, or you need to seek somebody. Okay, this is pregnancy too for some of you. Um, and it may not be you. It could be someone you're connected to. Um, there may be a fear that there isn't going to be a pregnancy. Or there would have to be like some kind of a C-section or some kind of a surgery. In regards to that, um, there's like a, I don't know, there's a struggle here. Somebody's fearing that there could be a loss of a child as well. But it's like, I feel like your fear is over riding you i don't even know if this is a love reading but it kind of feels like it is like you're coming into some conflict here virgo for sure let me see what's going on okay page of pentacles and the ten of wands virgo you know i i gotta tell you like i don't feel like you're making stuff up i don't feel like you're overthinking things but I feel like the little fears that you're having at night are going to start snowballing and affecting you during your day and every decision you make going forward. I feel like because that's what I see happening, struggle, tension, stress, exhaustion, fighting with others, um, issues with money, you know, um, plans not going, uh, materializing the way you want them to. I feel Virgo, you know, you have to nip something in the bud here when you begin to get really stressed like you have to find a way to distract yourself with progressive positive reminders affirmations or movements or goals you know even if that means if you're laying in bed at night and you have it and you're having a migraine find ways to make yourself feel better and then if you have to see a doctor do that if you're going through a breakup or um or something has ended or if there was a third party thing you have to find a way to pray you 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 can't take revenge out i don't feel like you're trying to do that i feel like if anything you just want to run away from it but i feel like you got to give it to god and just really do your best to comfort and soothe yourself while doing that you know and just kind of like Whatever you're seeing, whatever you're being told, whatever the images are, whatever the struggle is, um, or your fears, whatever's coming up, you know, fears are, fears are fears, and they feel very real at times, but they're, they're all coming from your head, okay, unless you have an actual fear, but even still, you, you like, the thing is like love and fear cannot coexist together so you have to choose do you want to be in a place of love and 
sit in that energy where you you know you you pray to a higher power and say i know everything's going to be okay i know you're going to take care of this for me i know you're in charge you know you make the sun come up you make the moon come up you're in charge of the weather like i have i'm powerless and i'm going to leave it up to you because i trust you higher power spirit source god whomever you know i feel like running away isn't really going to help you you might want to have a little getaway and that might help relieve some of the pressure but whatever the situation is that you are dealing with um this feels like a heavy duty reading um i i see like if you don't manage your anxiety or your fears or your stress you're going to come into some some struggles here all right so you've got the seven of swords and this is in your the position of your advice okay what's going on here again <laughs> running away <laughs> and i'm telling you don't run away um get away for a little bit yes okay sneak away for a little bit yes if you need to and whatever that means if you need to lock yourself in the bathroom for three hours to get away from your kids or your dog or you know your whoever you live with or whatever's going on you just need to take a time out make sure you get that for yourself for some of you this is like legit if you're at work you need to like go outside and walk around the buildings go out and, and get a nice br uh, brisk fresh walk if you can do that okay um i just feel like you if you're struggling with a work thing here you've got a work problem going on you need to like see if you can get a couple days off or take some kind of a get your vacation in um, if you've already had, you have no days, you have no vacation, um, make sure that you set aside your free time when you're not at work, that that is only your time for laughter, enjoyment, and happiness, family, friends, or whomever your soul tribe is, okay? There's an energy here of needing to get away from the soul tribe. All right, so we're going to take a look here at what's external to you. You're getting pushback. Oh my gosh, you're getting pushback from people or a person and this is what is causing all this <laughs> all this because i don't get it everything looked fine in the beginning here everything looked amazing but what is this defensive energy and the page of swords again gossip um s someone who's like spying someone's very curious seeking the truth but yet, oh my gosh, and now you've got the devil card. Virgo, <laughs> you've got some toxic stuff surrounding you. I'm just going to keep it real there, in, in external to you. And that's what's causing all this. And I don't know specifically what it is or who it is. It could be people at work, it could be your family, it could be a lover, it could be someone you're uh, separation from or divorce. Um, could be your neighbor it could be um, some friends whatever is external to you that is giving you these problems or is just very toxic Virgo I feel like um, this whatever started out good uh, like has become very unmanageable okay now I said in the beginning that there was a seven here inner awareness insight and success let me just say it this way whatever's whoever's external to you with this toxic energy and this spying and this gossip and this prying they feel they're being successful because they know it's getting to you that's their goal okay but they don't understand also that you have me <laughs> they don't understand that you also have the seven and you know that you'll be successful by not letting them see you sweat because you're going to take whatever you need to regroup to refresh and to trust yourself that you will make the right decision to deal with this situation right you might be laying in your bed night stressing about the whole thing they don't know that but whoever these people are person is they can sense it on you when they see you when they've seen you or even if they don't see you although they are seeing you somehow they can sense it you have to maintain like a complete poker face and never let people see that they have any kind of power over you like these are like devil minion games that's what i feel like is going on here you also have justice again okay so 
Virgo, remember when I was saying before, I didn't, like, I don't feel like you're going to be seeking vengeance. I don't feel like that's your thing, okay? And I don't really feel like Virgos are like that. I Do they have the potential? I think anybody would have the potential, but I don't see that. I feel like your hope is that whoever is causing problems for you, that they're going to get their karma and have some kind of wake up for whatever it is they're doing i feel like even with justice being here you you're starting out that way but it's getting to you because you're not trusting your intuition you're not trusting spirit or god that you know there's a, a scripture in the bible that says um you know don't exact your vengeance on other people for people who've done you wrong um that is god's work and vengeance is his not yours and he could do a, a much better job at it than you could virgo you will probably mess it up because you'll overthink it and then screw it up and get caught and get found out and then look petty no vengeance virgo pray it let it go um and and ask you know if the, if if somebody stole from you or cheated or they're trying to throw you under the bus with something in your life um or just being very like abusive to you or being mean to you you know and you're not like it, it, people who are just like that in general and are you if you feel like you're being targeted you know i hate to say this god don't like that <laughs> that is not good and those people generally it's a what goes around comes around kind of thing and it looks to me like you're hoping i think you might have a little bit of fear that that's not going to happen but that's because you're not trusting um you just have to be patient about whatever this energy is in may okay for sure because it is going to come back around to whoever is trying to hurt you right and you will have peace now look you've got the lovers in the outcome let me see what's going on here oh okay so looks like virgo um whoever you've been in some kind of union with or connection with whoever's giving you a problem people person place or thing it looks like um you're gonna leave them in the dust virgo because i feel like you may have thought or what you thought was i hate this reading is tough i have to say it i feel like that what you think or what you thought was someone uh oh i just realized i have nudies on here oh my gosh anyway i'm not covering up these cards with bikinis because these are wonderful cards um so what you think or what you thought was a true soul partnership and what i feel like it's drained here I, I feel like it's done and i feel like you're gonna be the one to um initiate something ending here okay as far as you might be walking away like just packing your bags and going or you might just be in a position where you just tell yourself you know what i'm setting boundaries here and nobody's gonna affect me like this or i'm just getting out of dodge okay i feel like that's the outcome and i feel like you're all, all you're sweating and all you're worrying you don't have to do because everything is going to get solved for you and look how you're look how you're ending with the very card that you started with the eight of wands so virgo i feel like you're going to kind of also gray rock all right you know i can't pick up my cards you're gonna gray rock or leave like whomever out in the cold the situation if it's a love relationship or whatever abandon the whole thing um isolate you're either gonna isolate or insulate whatever it is but i don't feel like you're going to be um like this is really barren here you know this is like broke busted and disgusted this is like poverty mindset okay um and i feel like you're you're gonna leave whomever with like very little to go on there's no warmth here and there's no growth but i also feel like you're gonna find love again towards the end of may going into june absolutely um i do i feel like you're gonna get some kind of communication or a message this too shall pass okay if it's not the end of june just going into this year i feel like this whole situation you're don't overstress it okay i, I have to say that like 100 percent. don't let it affect your health virgo because it will get taken care of you can trust that and you can trust me maybe it's a capricorn you're connecting with you can trust that this whole situation 
like God's got your back and I'm going to promote that because I truly believe that and you have to trust that because I, I like I just feel like you can just Jesus take the wheel take your hands off the wheel Virgo get a good night's sleep and trust that whomever in your life people places and things are doing uh, are targeting you for things or just and I'm not saying like oh you feel paranoid or you're taking a person I'm talking about like real deal stuff whatever's happened trust that they will get theirs everybody gets their comeuppance you know what i mean like everything comes out in the wash and i you're not gonna have to just give it to god and just turn around and say all right now we're not doing this today let me get back to my business and the things that i'm doing and the happiness that i had here in the past okay very strong message for this uh celtic cross reading for you guys i just want to get a couple of um let me see Oh, they just said a couple of island times for this. I know I did it a little bit differently, you guys, and I'm sorry. Um, okay, camera in the reverse, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, Virgo, it's like you're learning from the past and you're not going to be reminiscing, which is thinking about only all the good times. Um, like here's the thing Virgo if, you, if you're in a situation or a bad situation um, or your your emotions are still attached because either you loved some people or something like that like you can't let that I override fully all the negative things that happen that's like someone who's being hit with a baseball bat and uh, but turns around and says well yeah they did hit me with the baseball bat but they they gave me flowers for lunch and they brought me food like one does not negate the other they're two completely different things and you can't just overlook negative things that happen right so uh, you're putting the hammer down for sure and we'll start rebuilding okay i like that energy for you you'll have this opportunity but you got to give it over or you got to give it up okay yep you've got palm tree okay getting into stability permanence growth endurance and you've got clock okay so taking time to heal and progress so i feel like give yourself an opportunity here virgo um to release to let something go here let me get into your um see what your names and all that are okay oh 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 W, somebody's name or initial, we have a W, okay. All right, the letter C and the and the letter W, or, or it's WC, whichever it is, okay. A C or a W, let's see. Okay, all right, some of you are having issues with a cousin. I'm gonna say that right now. A cousin okay mm. I just heard Me Mesa is that a place Be Mesa Arizona Mesa Arizona Mesa or Mesa okay let me see I don't know if that's a place I have no idea it sounds like it might be uh, M-E-S-A M-E-S-A okay all right we've got a John showing up here oh that's pretty easy and also uh i just heard jolene okay huh. mm. i'm picking up pam i also have the letter m the letter j and the letter p And also, we have a letter G and a K. All right. Oops. Always knocking my thing over. Um, hmm. We have the letter H. Also. Hmm. And they're giving me the word humidor. Isn't that like a cigar? Humidor. And somebody's birthday is September 9th, I just heard. Uh, 
Okay. And we have Virgo, Aquarius, Aries, and Pisces. All right, Virgo, Aquarius, Aries, and Pisces. Okay, September birthdays, September 2nd, September 6th, the 7th, the 12th, the 22nd, September 8th. Okay, someone was born in 72. Someone is born in 64, also 62. Um, someone is born in 1947. Someone is 28. We also have the age 22. Um, someone is born in 1968. Okay. All right, Virgo again. Double Aquarius and a Sagittarius. And I'm just going to do one more. All right, Aries. A lot of Aquarius showing up. Gemini and Libra. Heavy air here with an Aries. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay. Hmm. September 19th. September 18th. I don't think I call those numbers often. Um, mm, I'm not seeing any August going on, but I mean, some of you might be somewhere near the cusp of Leo and Virgo as well. Okay. So we've got someone, uh, okay, 1986. 1981, 1961, someone is 50 or 51, um, felt someone is 54, and just remember you could be that age now or turning that age, and also um, they're giving me, okay, phone numbers, they're giving me 318, I'm sorry, 3518, 4511, 918-98150. So that might be, I don't know what that would be, like a zip code or something. All right, and just real quick, I'm going to do your Chinese signs because I forgot to do them. What are the Chinese signs for Virgo? Let's see Virgo who is listening. Virgo's Chinese sign. Virgo, who is listening? Okay. Starting off with the monkey. Okay. Year of the rooster. And this, we're looking at you, if this is your reading. Year of the pig. Year of the rabbit. Year of the snake. Year of the goat. And year of the rat. Okay. So, let's see. Just a couple, I want to do some messages of love, and then I'm going to close out your reading. I did a little backwards here, a little free-for-all today. Okay, past life love. So some of you, the reading, um, this reading, the second reading I gave, and the first one, obviously there could be a past life, past connection. It could be somebody from the past, which I kind of felt like it was anyway. It's someone that you were dealing with. You also have support. Lean on your inner circle du during this time. And I feel like, especially for this second message, very, very important for you, Virgo. Call on those people who are going to give you truth. Not people who are going to, that people have an emotional attachment to your situation. People who are going to be real with you and give you the truth about what you're dealing with, okay? But that also will give, you know, love and support to you, um, you know, be compassionate at the same time. But you don't want somebody blowing smoke up your butt, right? Or giving you smoke screens if your intuition is telling you something's not right, okay? I feel like that's a really strong message. Okay, stability, lovely. The, a relationship can stand the test of time. And that's so crazy because I feel like this has more to do with your relationship with yourself because I was saying in the beginning you're you might be struggling to trust yourself and you know trusting spirit trusting um, a higher power 
okay? The relationship with your higher power lasts forever. It will be stable and last forever, but it's just something that you have to keep trusting. If you want to know how to build your trust and your intuition, start giving it to your higher power and trusting. That's how you learn to do that. Okay, unavailable. This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve, okay? So a person or people. I just feel like, Virgo, you might feel like either somebody's poking the bear or there are people who are just giving you a hard time. I can honestly say, Virgo, overall, the biggest message I'm getting here is your faith and boundaries are being tested. That's pretty much it. Your faith and boundaries are being tested. You know, I... We're going into Mercury retrograde. Or did we already go into it? How come I don't even know? <laughs> did we are we already in the retrograde? I don't even know what today is. Uh is today oh today's the seventeenth. Yeah, we're going into it. I think this week. So there you go. You you got some like a and you know Mercury is a Virgo ruled sign. Um, so when things are kind of retrograding backwards, sometimes it does take a, it is a pull on Virgo and Gemini. So I do feel like, yeah, you're, you're definitely going to be tested during this time. Are people going to come back? Yes. Are people going to be kind of like, it, there's a glitch in the matrix here, but it's not so much technological technology, that kind of stuff, like your car or losing your keys and all that stuff. This is more like misfires with the relationships during this during this retrograde and i feel like going in prepare yourself going in that to ground yourself right because it feels more like an electrical energetic thing ground yourself before this energy starts playing out because i feel like you know as I said, somebody's going to be poking at you. You've got some people like you might just be your nerves might be raw as well. Um, you need like a, a sheath covering so that you are not getting um, not feeling reacted reactive. OK, leap of faith. Safe to take the move you're considering. You need to leap into faith during this time. That is definitely what I was feeling here for you. OK, and also get some time apart. So you can regroup and get back into your abundance, okay? Do not let anyone take away, no one can take away um, what you've created for yourself unless you allow it, okay? People will try. Uh, people, they have their own whatever. Keep yourself protected and guarded during this time. It will pass. It will pass. Um, yeah, so that's going to be your reading, you guys. I know it was a little off kilter, kind of random and spontaneous, but I hope you enjoy it. And again, um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's links in the description box below. If you have gotten readings with me in the past, you can still get them with me. You can still book with me. I'll be sending out emails soon about that. And um, yeah, so I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys have a great night, a great day tomorrow, and I will see you all back here tomorrow night. All right.